Robert Landry, uh, NHDOT, New Hampshire Department of Transportation. Underwood Bridge update on the interim repair and discussion of uh, closure dates. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Um, since the last time I was here in October, we've actually gone out to bid with the project. SPS New England was the low bidder. We're hoping to get the, it approved on Wednesday's meeting, January 24th, at the Governor Executive Council meeting. Um, the new cup ones that are coming are scheduled for January 31st, which is good, a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, we had a pre-construction meeting with SPS pending their um, approval of the contract. They're looking to begin on February 19th. The one thing and the reason, the major reason we're back is during the bidding process, we were basically informed by the contractor that no machine shop would guarantee our previous hope of 14-day closure of the bridge. Um, or that's probably said wrong. Let's say that again. 14 days necessary to complete the work where the bridge bascule would be in, in operation. Um, they were saying they couldn't be guaranteed less than three weeks. So in turn, we revised the schedule to 28-day um, operation of the bridge closure. I sent out emails to the list of boat owners, etc., that I had been in contact with earlier. Um, basically received emails back, or one email back, that as long as the bridge was operational from a bascule sense by March 30th, they would be fine with the additional closure dates. Um, with that, we are looking to complete the work by March 19th with, so that the basket would open and the final completion would be April 6th. Wanted to bring that back. I was hoping some of them would be here tonight. I'm not sure if there is or isn't. I think they could provide input on such. Can I just clarify yeah, one thing sure. for the public that you're talking about the bridge when it's closure. That's to boat traffic, not to vehicle traffic. Correct? Right. It's the bascules right. unoperational in that, and okay. boats can go through. We just can't, can't open the bridge for it. Just trying to be clear to folks. No, nope, that's very good. Good point. The board. Anybody? I think so long as you you're working with the fishermen and they know about it. I mean, they they obviously realize it's got to be fixed. So. I would, I would hope that, you know, if, if they had a problem, they'd come to you, and it sounds like you've tried to reach out to them, and uh, hopefully you guys will continue to do that and work with them. That's all. Yep. Rick? Yeah, I'd like to say that, because you've heard some com conversation tonight about DOT and other members of uh, that work to, for the state, and you all do a great job, and I respect the way that even at the Hampton Area Commission, the guys that are there, they, they never get involved in Hampton politics. And I, I think that you're doing a good job. You're being very fair. And uh, I thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bean. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, brief synopsis. What's, what's wrong with the bridge? During the summer, and, oh, and I'll get specific dates so I don't. And take your time. Nope. On July 11th, the shaft cup one failed. Um, I wish, this is when I wish I had the slideshow up. On July 12th and 13th, we did emergency repairs by our bridge maintenance forces. And basically what that repair is, and I can show you if it's all right. Since This is the cup one that failed mm -hmm. inside the lifting. These are the guys in there working. That's the specific coupler, of course. This is the actual repair they did. They welded the plate on there temporarily, put some pins in, and that was all a temporary fix. So what we're going to do this time is we have new couplers coming, two of them. They need to take this shaft out, send it to machine shop, re-mill re the coupler and the shaft so they fit inside the coupler, and away we go. Got it. And then how about the, aside from that, that failure, what, what, what about the condition of the bridge besides that? Is there an assessment on that bridge? Yeah, it's, it's our number one redless bridge in the state. And that's due to the condition of the bridge. Um, we have a project in the 10-year plan that's been moved up a year to 2023. 
um, that we're going to start getting together with a public advisory group, as we discussed the last time, trying to bring that forth and find the right solution. Okay. So when we, you just heard uh, our um, our very friendly discussion about mm-hmm. investment at the state. Um, it's the number one red list bridge in the state. Correct. Okay. So does that mean it's in the worst condition? No, that the priority ranking is based on conditions, a piece of it. Importance is another big piece of it. Um, length of detour around it. Uh, volume of traffic. Uh, size of the bridge. Because the bigger the bridges are, the more investment it takes to repair them on a square foot cost. And it's also currently, it's one of our four movable bridges that we have in the state. Got it. What is uh, uh, the operational risk management threat that that bridge, by virtue of its uh, degraded state, if you would allow, <clears throat> um, could be permanently disabled for a week, two weeks, 10 days in the summer, if you can say that at all? Uh, we have bridge maintenance crews just like this one here that will come out, do the best they can to get it back open as quick as possible. Okay. We understand the importance. Does the town of Hampton have a, uh, uh, a detailed uh, inspected report uh, on that bridge? They should. Okay. They should. Are you aware if we have one or not? Uh, I'm not aware off the top of my head if we have one. Okay, Generally, great. Generally, they send down their do. reports. I can us, update yeah. it. And they send, send, it they send the reports yeah. consistently. I'm sure it's up there. They, I just can't say I've Through I've the years, they keep, they've sent yeah. them over and over again. Right. And, and for those of you that were at the, uh, the meeting while I was in Portsmouth, uh, was, that, was that discussed at all, an investment in the beach, the number one red-listed beach uh, bridge, or was it just? No, it was not. Okay. I, would, I, might I think the bridge was, bridge was. briefly it was. discussed. Okay. More about moving it up on the plan and having some discussions about when it's to be replaced. Okay. Not in any great detail, however. Well, how can you move it up if it's already number one? Uh, it just there was a brief no, discussion of it's not when it gets replaced. Move it up as far as in the I program. Mean, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The funding went from 2024 to 2023. Oh, that's interesting. And, and, and how much is the um, the uh, the bid with SPS? With SPS, four hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars and eighty. Gotcha. Four thirty-two eighty. Gotcha. Eight. Um, thank you very much for your service to the state and your uh, getting away from your supper hour from your family tonight. I appreciate it. Thank it's basically a, a fix, <clears throat> a quick fix to right. the to get us to twenty twenty three. Yeah. I have a question. What's the po- probability? That it could go beyond the time. Is there a probability? You know, you've got you've set that time that it's going to take to repair it. Beyond 2023. No, no. The, uh, this repair here. What's the probability the that it could go beyond that and not be able to be opened? And at what point during the repair would you be able to let the fishermen know and the boaters know whether it's going to be possible to get it open on the date that you say you're going to get it open? They. One of the things that we do with a construction project like that, there will be a list. Um, Nikki Hunter is the district construction engineer. She's the, the top for this area. She's had a lot of the big bridges around here, or her staff underneath her. And um, I can't remember. Kevin Wynn will be our construction administrator, our contract administrator. He will be there, and he will be in constant contact with everybody, including Gino and his, his people, too. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Yep. There's no Thank other you. questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.